Hi, so this is just a quick video um, for the microtonic uh, solution that you've been given as part of your aftercare. So I don't know if you can hear, but you'll have already seen this is actually uh, like a sort of a honey coloured liquid, I guess. Uh, tonic, I say honey, it's like mildly yellow. Um, but the this is an amazing product and for the first 72 hours of your healing is really the only thing that I want you to focus on. Um, in the healing process, um, what we're really trying to do when we're, sorry, when we're working in your treatment or when I'm working in your treatment, what I'm trying to do is work with as minimal trauma as possible. This reduces the um, chances of any scarring from the treatment or any uh, excessive trauma being created within the skin and what this is absolutely brilliant at doing is helping fight the uh, the lymph. So lymph is a, a clear fluid that comes to the surface of the skin, it's kind of the initial process in the wound healing, um, sorry the first step in the wound healing process. So what we want to do using your microtonic is to keep that lymph gone. Now, I will have told you at the end of your treatment whether or not you've been particularly lymphy. Um, and the more lymphy you are, the more on it that you need to be. You might be able to get away with using this just twice a day. Um, if you're more lymphy, you might want to be checking on your brows every hour, every couple of hours, and just using this liquid to gently pat off that lymph because it is the underlying layer, the first layer as it were, of any scab formations and what we're looking to do is to keep any scabbiness and flakiness to an absolute minimum and microtonic is the absolute answer to that. Uh, it comes in this, um, I don't know, like a pillow pack I think they call it, um, but sometimes the bottom doesn't stand quite so flat so perhaps just pop it upright. If you want to be fancy you can keep it in the fridge. Um, but you will need to store it, you know, stood upright. When you open the pack, there's a little tear along here. I actually tend not to tear it, I'll cut it with scissors and I will do it in like a little V shape here. So when I pop that open, I can either get a little cotton bud in here or I've got a nice little bit that I can dispense out onto some gauze and, you know, either dab, wipe, um, you can keep it, as I say, in the fridge if you fancy being in the fridge if you fancy being fancy, crikey. Um, but use this, use it up till it's completely gone because it is very soothing. It really restores the skin and it helps um, sort of soothe and refresh throughout the healing process. So use that up till it's gone because it will just continue to add to the health of your skin. Um, love it, love microtonic. Um, the less scabbiness and flakiness that you have, uh, the better your end and healed results will be, the better your skin health will be, and that's what it's all about in terms of longevity. Cool. Any questions on microtonic? Do ask.